NMS. I'm Kendall. Welcome to Good Day NMS. Today is Monday, February 8th, 2021. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance in a moment of silence. Attention, salute, pledge. Please pause for a moment of silence. Monday's weather will be mostly cloudy with a high of 59 and a low of 43. Monday's lunch will be cheeseburgers, sliders, or barbecue chicken sandwich. Tuesday's lunch will be spaghetti or grilled cheese sandwiches. Here are your school announcements. President's Day will be February 15th. There will be no school. The next school store will be Friday, February 26th. Report cards will go home on Thursday, March 25th. Spring break will be March 29th through April 2nd. And don't forget to fill out your forms with six emails to raise money for your library and get one of these plush slap bracelets. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to Colin Powell. Powell was born on April the 5th, 1937 in the New York City neighborhood of Harlem. The son of two Jamaican immigrants, he was raised in the South Bronx. He attended City College of New York and it was there he began his military service, joining the Reserve Officer Training Corps, otherwise known as ROTC. After his graduation in 1958, Powell was commissioned a second lieutenant in the U.S. Army. During his 35 years in the Army, he served two tours in Vietnam, was stationed in West Germany and South Korea and acted as President Ronald Reagan's De Deputy National Security Advisor in 1987, then National Security Advisor from 1988 until 1989. In 1989, he was promoted to the rank of general and was appointed by President George H.W. Bush to the position of Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. In the four years Powell served in that capacity, he oversaw 28 crises including Operation Desert Storm in 1991. After his retirement in 1993, he founded America's Promise, an organization in which he helps at-risk children. He was nominated for Secretary of State by President George W. Bush on December the 16th, 2000. What starts with a P, ends with an E, and has a million letters in it? What? what? A post office. Ah! I don't All get right. it. What does it mean? What? Huh? <laughs> no, it's a uh, letters. <laughs> there are millions of letters in the post office. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. 